Good morning and welcome to this reflection from Christ Church Chorley Wood. My name is Warren Tranter. Frequently in our conversations we speak about measurements and distances. How long is a piece of string? What's the distance from Land's End to John O'Groats? Professor Brian Cox in his series on the universe talks about the Milky Way which if I could travel at the speed of light, a mere 186,000 miles per second, I'd arrive at its centre in 25,000 years' time. I know I enjoy driving long distances, but not sure my Volvo would make it. However, I was cheered up to learn the BBC filmed part of the series at Fountains Abbey and Brimham Rocks in Yorkshire places I have frequently visited in my Volvo. In this way, I have a sense of what is close at hand and beyond my reach, spatial awareness. What sent me down at this train of thought was reading Psalm 103, verses 10 to 12. These are the words. God does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repairs according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his steadfast love to those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our transgressions from us. Here is spiritual spatial awareness. Firstly, how high are the heavens? Estimated to be approximately 48 billion and 200 million miles from Earth. When we seek to illustrate how much we love someone, we often throw our arms open wide, a symbol of embrace. Try to imagine the immeasurable love of God towards our world and particularly towards those who put their trust in him. Reflect on how our love of others can be quite meagre and quickly shrink if another lets us down or fails to come up with our expectations. John writes in his first epistle, How great is the love of the Father has lavished on us that we should be called the children of God, a God who is extravagant, a God who invaded our limited space with his eternal grace in Jesus. Could I say 48 billion pounds of love to all? Overwhelming love, genuine, pure love, love that comes from his will to love us unconditionally. A lover by its sacrifice calls us to love others lavishly, sacrificially, unconditionally. Secondly, the psalmist says, as far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. A practical picture came to me in which every week the garbage truck comes and collects all our rubbish, takes it away, disposes of it, and we never see it again. Sometimes we want to dangle people's wrongdoings in front of their noses, humiliate them, remind them of the way they have messed up, rub, rub their faces in the mud, make them pay for it. My, these stories really do sell newspapers. There are times also when we cannot let go of the guilt we've experienced because of our wrongdoing. Or Satan is quick to remind us of our failings and shortcomings. But Isaiah in chapter 38 verse 17 speaks of God putting our sin behind his back out of sight, left behind, forgiven. What is incredible is that the psalmist back then didn't know 
the earth was a sphere. But God did. Being a sphere, it rotates on its axis on an east to west continuum. Therefore, the earth has a north and south pole, which is a straight line flight of about 12,430 miles. But how far is the east from the west? East and west have no poles. And according to Cora.com, there are no ends to the directions of east and west because they are on a continuous loop or one end connects around back to the other end. So if you keep going east, eventually you return to the same point you started and start the same trip all over again. East and west, therefore, are seen as infinite. They go on forever. In fact, the Hebrew word for the east is kidam, which also means everlasting. So in Jesus, how far does God remove our sins from us? An infinity away, an eternity away, as if you had all eternity, you can never find them again as far as the east is from the west. In conclusion, let me return to the Milky Way, thousands of light years away. Fountains Abbey and Brimham Rocks are my Volvo. Spatial, sp spiritual spatial awareness reminds me of an infinite God who travels into my neighbourhood by sending Jesus, the light of the world, to span the gap. Breathes his life into me by his Holy Spirit, removes my sin, puts a new song in my heart, even praises to our God, and is always with me, whether I'm driving my Volvo round Brimham Rocks or Birmingham. Today, take time to ponder and take in the love of God that removed your sins as far as east is from the west and live a life unto God that pleases him. The Lord bless you and strengthen you and may these thoughts lighten your day and bless your spirit as you bless others. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you that it is hard for us to grasp how high and deep and wide is your love towards us. That you're a God who doesn't keep score. That when, you, uh, when we ask for your forgiveness, you grant it and you remove it from us. You're rather like the great removal man who takes our sin away and never to remember it against us anymore. We thank you, Lord, for your gracious love in Christ. We thank you, Lord, that you do not uh, continue to remind us of our failings, but you come alongside us and walk with us and give us your strength by the Holy Spirit to be the sort of men and women and young people and boys and girls that demonstrate the love of Christ into our world. Help us, O oh God, as we have been forgiven, that we will be willing and quick to forgive others. And may we know of your grace and your love in our lives day by day. And may our hearts be filled with thanksgiving each moment. For we ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you this day and upon all those you love and work with. Goodbye. The song I have chosen for this morning is from Psalm 103, The Lord is Kind and Merciful, and sung uh, by Geraldine Molina. It's a, a, a lovely uh, piece to listen to and beautiful accompaniment. I trust you enjoy it. Bye.